today we will start with unit number 3.2.4 that is wiring requirement so wiring basically is needed in a, not only in the solar pv system in any electrical system to connect power supply and the load power supply here also we can include uh, other components as well means which are the part of the power system so we can interconnect them okay now we want to run a load then we have to connect it or transfer the power through these wires. So the choice of wires, which include choice of material for wire. The so first thing, material for wire. Another thing, diameter of wire. Okay, so that plays an important role. How we will discuss it? So the appropriate choice of wire is even more important in case of solar PV application. And why is it so? Because it is dealing both with AC current as well as DC current. We are considering our load to be AC here, household load. Okay, so it, our system is dealing with both AC and DC. So the appropriate choice of wiring is important. Why? Because this will reduce the electrical losses in the wire. Since solar PV power that is expensive, so it is important to minimize the power losses in wires as much as possible. The losses are less. Then efficiency will be high more energy we will be getting okay, overall the economic value of the system that will also increase another importance is that this will help to avoid shock hazards and fire hazards in a pv system means from the safety point of view the economical point of view efficiency point of view and safety point of view uh, another importance is that this will help the system to perform better is overall performance that will be better the quality that will be better if all the components in the pv system are chosen sufficiently but appropriate wire is not available the system's performance that will deteriorate okay now considering an example if a large current is flowing in a certain part of the pv system and wire chosen that is thin diameter of that wire that is less so the losses will increase so here we take some basics uh, like the joules law of heating so as the heat develop that is equal to i square rt square of the current into resistance into time now resistance r that is equal to rho l upon a rho is the resistivity l is the length and a is the wire uh, uh, cross section area okay that is the thickness of the wire so that is inversely proportional to the thickness the resistance that is inversely proportional to the thickness so that means if current is more then heat will be more but if we can reduce the resistance with i square rt that is equal to the heat if we can re reduce the resistance in that case it will be less resistance is less it means the power losses i square r r that is our resistance the power losses that will also be less okay, so we can say our system if it is having a connected through a wire of a less diameter less thickness then heat will increase losses will increase and there is a chance of burning because of heat that will increase it will burn insulations Okay, so there may even be fire in the system and the whole system will stop working and in the worst case the entire pv system may be destroyed so we have to take care of the fires as well as we take care of the other uh, equipments which we have discussed in our previous uh, chapters so electrical wires are made up of metal because metals are most uh, conducting that's why we have selected it and most uh, pro uh, suitable metals for conducting electricity may be silver copper aluminium now here quality as well as price both we have to consider silver price is high we have to avoid copper and aluminium copper the price is high but resistance is less in case of aluminium the price is less but the resistance is more as compared with copper so this makes copper more suitable price are reasonable but more than aluminium okay, so we prefer for copper so generally wires are coated with any insulating material like polyvinyl chloride pvc nylon polyester 
so as to prevent shock hazards and energy loss through unwanted conduction and avoid short circuit between two wires running together yes so okay the covering outer covering of the wire okay now one more thing wire we have collected wires we have bundled them together these wires are there covered by some type of uh, uh, insulator and we have bonded them twisted them okay then it becomes a cable okay or wire cable we call it as a wire cable the wires are shown here in the diagram so conductor surrounded by insulator then two wires together bundled together cable becomes uh, like this having these two uh, wires okay so different type of wires we can see here in the diagram two maybe three maybe one more and the diameter or thickness of the wire that is also different as per our requirement now considering voltage loss in wire the voltage desirable to drive electricity in a wire that is known as the voltage drop means there should be a potential difference some voltage at one point and another different voltage at another point so there is a potential difference then the current will flow it is important to choose appropriate conductor with low resistance to minimize voltage loss in dc wires b is equal to ir okay so r is there r is more the b will be more means potential okay voltage that will, more voltage will drop there if the resistance is more the wires with low resistance are of large diameter okay but larger diameter wires need more metal and correspondingly the cost also increases the cost of the system will increase that will increase the cost of the energy per unit that is also not desirable so we have to make a proper balance so we have to select the wire which is most suitable for our pv system to avoid greater voltage loss the wiring rules are listed as the length of wire should be as short as possible as per the required purpose you need not take a very long uh, wire because resistance will be more in that case so losses will be more voltage loss that will increase so the voltage drop in should not exceed 0.5 volt when we are operating in 12 volt system and it should not increase 1 volt if we are operating in 24 volt system the next point a wire less than 2.5 mm square in length should not be used in pv system wiring well here it is written length but in square that should be the area of cross section means the thickness 2.5 mm square okay now type of wire so it could be single stranded the first diagram that is single stranded another one multi stranded so many strands are there in each wire multi strands the next is single core core check the uh, internal conductor there another one is multi core the fourth case the difference that is evident in the, uh, the diagrams here from this we can differentiate between these different type of cables now solar cable a cable utilized for interconnection of solar panel or other electrical components in the generation of photovoltaic power we call it as a solar cable the features of a solar cable are it is designed as ultraviolet and weather resistant because it has to be in the sun in the outer weather the harsh conditions are there so it is to be designed so as to tolerate that outside condition so last temperature second point it is laid outside and use between last temperature range in the sun there there is a huge temperature variation summer to winter every time it has to stay out outside the house so it has to face that temperature range as well so maximum dc voltage permissible at 1.8 kv for single core cables okay here we can decide it. more is that then we need multi core cable Okay, then temperature of uh, uh, 
approximately 40 minus 40 to 90 degree Celsius. Okay, that usually we are having in our uh, locations. We should have a double insulation for protection against ground fault and short circuit. Okay, double protection should be there. Okay, insulation, proper insulation should be maintained. No short circuit, no ground connection. Okay, then no ground fault. Here it is not about a thing. Means a leakage of current to ground. That should be minimized. If wire is uh, not properly insulated, then there will be leakage to ground. Okay, don't confuse it with the uh, other thing. Okay, next thing, the cables cut away needs to be appropriate so that 1% loss during economical operation is restricted. Okay, now MC4 cable. Okay, so this is the type. So male and female connecting at each end as shown in the diagram. So length, different length is available as per our requirement, 8 feet to 100 feet. So here in the diagram it is shown. So we can just connect male and female part on the top. Okay, so the use of an extension cable that is not viable because the distance traveled by the wire in a solar panel setup of a house or a cabin is normally very long. So in such cases, panels are connected to a combiner box with the help of an extension cable. The combiner box, we are having one more component here. So this approach allows the use of cheaper wiring in electrical conduit to cater to long distance. And this reduces the cost. Okay, now, now solar cable connectors. So in the image here it is shown. Male and female connector. And a different type of connectors. They are shown in this table. Okay, so here a junction box that is used on the solar panel at the back. And at that junction box, the wires are connected. So the recent PV modules have been added with MC connectors that appeal, appear from the jun junction box. Because MC connectors, they are there in the junction box and from there, uh, we connect our uh, cables to the solar panel. So the MC connectors are weatherproof, safe and reliable. First one, solar line one. The image shown there, the common connector on modules, it is a earlier version, 1990. It was famous. Currently, it is used, but not much. So, rubber end of each connector fit the ridges. It is essential that no gap exists for good connection. Yes, gap is there. Chances of leakage, sparkling. So, it is every bit as MC1 or MC3. Next is Solar Line 2. It is built into modules from mid 2000. So, they are commonly being used today, just as we saw in the previous uh, section. So rigid plastic and on being engaged and it clicks together. So as per 2008 National Electric Code, connectors that lock and click must be used when PV modules are installed in accessible location. The installer has an option of attaching an optional piece of the solar line two connector which provide a provision to lock. Okay, special tool is required to unlock connectors. Easily means we cannot unlock it. That is also from the safety purpose, reliability purpose. So it is abbreviated as MC2, MC2L, okay, L is for locking, and MC4 for 4 mm connector. Now coming to the size of wire. So now more volts are needed to push a certain amount of ampere, ampere that is current. Means for more voltage, we need for more current across a wire in a with less diameter. Okay, so diameter here, white matters, something similar which we had just discussed uh, some time ago. Okay, so more panels and batteries should be installed to get a higher voltage, which includes extra cost. So in large diameter wires, the voltage required to drive electricity through wire is low, whereas the wire's cost is high. Okay, diameter is more, so more metal is needed and correspondingly the cost will increase. Okay, but resistance is less. 
so voltage required that will be less as compared with a thin wire the thin wire is there more voltage we need so we need to install more panels and batteries okay whereas if in case we are using a large uh, more thick wire having la larger diameter then voltage required will be less means less panel okay but the cost of wiring that will increase okay, so the best wire size will compensate the cost of a large wire with a low voltage and the extra panel cost from smaller wires that are relatively cheaper so we have to make a balance so more voltage is required to push 13 ampere through a longer wire okay thickness we have discussed now length so more is the length the more voltage we need so similarly we need more panels batteries so more cost so short wires should be selected means the shortest possible length of the wire that should be selected so steps to find the correct size of the wire so estimate the appliance rating similar the load calculation so draw a rough estimate of the distance between battery and appliance required by the wire to cover so the distance travel okay then allow extra length of wire to be placed around windows or doors or place it in switches okay something for the extra length maybe up for the provision we are taking okay the watt or ampere rating is usually shown on the label okay, although sometimes it can only be found on specification sheets packed with the appliance with the appliance means the specification power current that is specified about its rating the ampere used by appliance can also be measured while it is in use with an emitter okay using emitter also we can determine the current 